I love it. I love it. Can you share a memorable story or experience that reinforced your commitment to the Ojula Island Survivors Foundation's mission? Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, there's a time when I was um, um, taking my father to go and uh, we're going to cut the grass for, for, for covering, how do I call it? In our island, people live so much into grass patched houses. Oh, wow. So we had gone to go and cut the, the grass for, for, for how do I say it, for covering the roof of, of, of the house. But then when we're coming, remember we're crossing the lake. The, 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 the lake was very rough. We almost died. Wow. And we're in the middle of the lake. I sat down, I told my dad, let's pray. Otherwise, if we don't pray, our life is ending from here. I saw my father taking a short prayer, but in the process of praying, the wind reduced. So when the wind reduced, we continued with our transit on the lake. We almost died by the way. So what came into my mind? In such a situation, we do not have any anything which could rescue us you get it so in this process i said that now having survived on this tragedy of strong wind in the lake we need to come up with something that will save the people in the island wow wow this is this is this is how we came up with the saviors foundation to save the people from this kind of things. Oh my God. I still remember. I was then a very young boy who had no capacity. How do you even, you couldn't forget a story like that. That's I like couldn't. Moses parting the Red Sea. <laughs> it's the same thing. Well, your name is Moses. My name is Moses. <laughs> it's no coincidence. Holy yeah. crap. There's, very, there's, no, there's no mistaking our names. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Very, I, I, that, oh, what a story. Very true. 